I just wanted to take a couple of moments to say thank you to each and every one of the orthopedic residents, podiatry residents, and our physician's assistants. As a group, you have been just amazing. You've done everything that was asked with no complaining, and I have received so many amazing notes from medical folks that you've been working with about what a great job you've done. Saying thank you doesn't even begin to express my gratitude and the awe in which I hold each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you to all of you with my sincerest gratitude. Thank you to our orthopedic residents, our podiatry residents, our physician's assistants, and our nurse practitioners. Each and every one of you has been pulled from your safe zone, caring for people with musculoskeletal conditions, and asked to care for people who are both critically ill and highly contagious. I suspect that many of you over the years have heard me say that we are physicians first and members of the greatest profession in the world. You have all put a smile on my face in the way you have responded to the professional and bioethical imperatives of the pandemic and seamlessly joined the Monster team as eager physicians ready to do whatever you've been called on to help save people's lives. What greater difference is there than saving someone's life? And that's what you're doing almost every day. Not many of us can say that they've saved a life. And you'll all be able to say that. So stay strong, stay healthy. This too shall pass and it will. And you'll all be better for it and we'll all be better for it. And certainly our patients will be better for it. Good morning, Montefiore Orthopedics. This is Radio COVID, Channel 19, coming to you directly from the hotspot in the Bronx, New York, bringing you truth and transparency. On the good news front today, the governor reports New York State statistics are improving for the third straight day. The number of Montefiore Medical Center admissions is decreasing. And importantly, deployed allied services are contracting and subspecialty residents are coming back to their home services. Commemorative COVID N95 bandanas will be distributed upon return from deployment. A mountain of cards and letters arrive each day telling us about your outstanding performance on the deployed teams. There are not enough words to tell each and every one of you how proud I am of the work you've done. You have saved lives. You have comforted the frightened. You are the best of what healthcare has to offer. I will be forever thankful. Hola. Quiero primero decir gracias con todo mi corazón por el sacrificio, el servicio en estos tiempos peligrosos, en la crisis que tenemos ahora en los Estados Unidos. El valor que ustedes han enseñado es muy increíble. Gracias. And of course, eventually we're looking forward to 80s in the OR. Just a short message to all the residents and PAs. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart as well as the bottom of the heart of all my patients uh, for taking care of them and putting yourself at risk during this trying time. Dear orthopedic resident, I'm here to say that I thank you for your service, your dedication to patient care, and your bravery. I know this is tough, but I know that we will get over this. One day, when this is over, we will come out and celebrate. We will sing together and dance together and drink together. But for now, please take good care of yourself and each other. I miss you. To all of you, I'm very proud of what you've done. Some of you are sick, some of you are recovering. To all of you, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. Your actions are truly an inspiration to us all, especially myself, my family, 
and those who appreciate the severity of this pandemic. Thank you so much. So on behalf of myself and my family, we just want to say a tremendous... Thank you! Hello, residents. Einstein once said, only a life in the service of others is worth living, and you guys are doing that at the risk of your own health and with tremendous courage. Please know that you guys will be remembered as a very special generation of orthopedic surgeons because we will make you orthopedic surgeons, just surgeons that know how to put patient prone, get A lines, run labs, etc. We miss you. I never thought I would say this, uh, but I do miss the juniors in conference. I have been pimping Schultz in our weekly FaceTime meetings and let me tell you, not that fun. We miss operating a lot, but most of all, I think we miss spending time in the OR with you and teaching you what we know. Thank you so much for the hard work and dedication that you all have demonstrated during this terrible situation. Remember that tough times never last. Tough surgeons always do. You guys are tough. Hang in there. We are all very proud of you. You are an outstanding and extraordinary group of young men and women. You can all be very proud of yourselves and I salute you. And I am honored to be a colleague, fellow physician, and friend of yours. God bless all of you, and keep up the good work. Our dear residents and PAs, we have a huge thank you from the Berenfeld family to each and every one of you. Thank you for saving people's lives. Thank you for your care of the sick people. Thank you for your incredibly hard work in these difficult times. Thank you for your unwavering courage during this very scary pandemic. Thank you for risking your own health and your lives to save all of ours. We have a tremendous debt of gratitude to all of you. You're saving many lives. You, you are, are our heroes! heroes. Hi everybody. Um, yes, this is what your attending looks like when he's not doing any type of uh, complex sports cases. Uh, I look like a homeless guy almost, but uh, but I'm not panhandling, not yet. All right. <laughs> um, in any case, um, I can't wait until um, you know we can hopefully get back to doing some sports cases together. Um, I know it's going to be a rough road ahead of us, but if we all work together. Uh, we'll get through this most definitely and again I just want to say thank you for all you're doing um, and um, just keep doing what you're doing and I know that there's brighter skies ahead love you all you're representing our department very well and we couldn't be more proud of you I know this is not what you signed up for um, but I hope that one day when you look back at this time and you reflect on your medical career this will be one of the highlights uh, the time that you answered the call to help save lives I can't wait to see you all soon um, in the meantime, please stay safe. Thank you again. Hooray, Dr. Van Arsenal. Hooray, firefighters. That's right. Hooray, police officers. Hooray, everybody. To all the orthopedics and podiatry residents and all the PAs and NPs, we, we appreciate you guys so much. And from, from Super Batman and I and the rest of the Schultz family, um, we thank you. And uh, we owe you more than you'll ever know. My dear residents and PAs, while you were deployed in the ER, the ICU, and the ward, I know your area of primary concern is, how am I doing? Well, I want to reassure you that I'm okay and am managing. My gray hairs are getting longer. My butt is getting flatter, and that's because I've been sitting on it all day. I have had time to contemplate the plague, the plague of trigger fingers untreated in today's world. It drives me crazy. I do miss my hand surgery resident, but I found a very worthwhile assistant. With this assistant, I don't have to worry about how good the skin closure is. With this assistant, the skin closure always looks just fine. You did not sign up for this. Your work is admirable, selfless. There's a Yiddish expression, mitzvah, roughly translated, it means a good deed. You are performing these good deeds and you have 
the appreciation of your peers, your attendings, and above all, the supreme administrator in the sky. Your good deeds have been noticed. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Give my sincere thanks to each and every one of you, and God bless you. I'm very proud of you all. You've been incredibly brave throughout this pandemic. You have done an outstanding job representing the Department of Orthopedic Surgery during this unprecedented time. Please stay safe and continue doing amazing work of saving lives. I know it's been really tough, it's been scary, uh, but all of you just kind of rolled with the punches, all the constant changes to your schedule, and the work uh, flow. Um, everyone just really did a really great job. For those of you who were deployed, got a ton of great feedback. Um, everyone's really impressed with your work ethics, your standards, your follow through. Um, these are things we already knew. Um, I just wanted to again say thank you for everything you've done. Hi everyone. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you guys have been doing over the past couple of weeks. I miss you guys so much and I can't wait until we're back together and reunited and the days of me chasing everyone down for paperwork is back. See you guys soon. We look forward to seeing you in person as soon as we can. And we want to thank you from the bottoms of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Hey everyone. I just wanted to send along my thanks and gratitude for all you've done. Uh, on behalf of Montefiore and all of our patients for all the hard work you put in, all the hours. I know at times it was scary, I know at times there was sadness, but you pulled through and did a lot for all of our patients. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I've got to also say to the Pied Reds especially, I'm very proud of you. I've said that to you before and I can't wait to get back into the OR again where uh, you guys can stand in front of me and we can chat about feed and the rest of life. I want to take a moment to give a heartfelt thank you to all the residents of our department working tirelessly to treat our community during this unprecedented time. Although emotionally and physically draining and sacrificing of yourselves, you all are persevering and continuing through. I have the utmost respect and gratitude for everything you're doing. You're treating our patients with such compassion I truly appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Hi guys, Dr. Weiser here. Just wanted to let you know that you guys are our true heroes putting your lives on the line to do this job. I know it's not what you expected out of residency, but we could not be more proud of what you're doing. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, as much as I wanted to give you a TikTok video, I really didn't want to put you through that. Um, but really, um, I want to send a message to all of you, our residents and all of you, RPAs. Um, really, I personally am so proud and honored to know you, uh, to see how you guys have risen up in this time of absolute crisis. Um, this has been your finest hour. And so cheers to you guys. I want to begin by telling you how proud I am of this department and how proud I am of you. At this time, the thought that comes to my mind is a phrase from Churchill when he said, never has so much been owed by so many to so few. That certainly applies to you. Best of luck, stay well. I'll look forward to seeing you in the office soon. I wanna tell you that I miss you all very much and like the rest of the faculty, I am very proud of you and how you represented yourself and our department working on the COVID floors, as well as uh, the more senior residents who stuck around and kept uh, what was left of our orthopedic service running. I'm hoping soon we can meet up again in person. I've realized I'm really a master at third grade math. Right, Archer? Yep. Um, but I'm hoping to uh, get back to you so you can challenge me. Um, and again, thanks so much for everything you've done. Uh, you've made us all really proud. Hi everyone. My family and I are so thankful about everything that you've been doing. We are so grateful that you guys have given yourself up physically and emotionally. We are so proud of you. You are our role models, our heroes. Right now, you're saving lives and you're there for people. At the, uh, 
at the end of their lives as well. We can't wait to see you again. We miss you. We can't wait to be in the OR with you and doing education with you. Let us know if you need anything and stay safe. We uh, appreciate your work and your dedication. Our patients thank you. We thank you. My family thanks you. And hopefully we can get back to our normal life as much as normal as we can be and when we do i lose this mug so maybe dr laloy dr murphy by the time we get back to work i may look like you but i doubt it hey guys i just want to say what a great job you're doing and how much we all appreciate it and how proud we are we know this isn't what you signed up for, but you've really risen to the task and uh, we could not be prouder. Hey guys, how's it going? This goes without saying, but thanks for what you guys have been doing. You guys are doing a job where you guys rarely get thanked and I know it can't be easy. It sucks. I'm looking forward to working with you guys again on the floors and in the OR. Stay safe out there, okay guys? I think that this pandemic virus has affected every aspect of our lives in ways that we could have never imagined. When things started to get ugly, the podiatry residents were some of the very first that were deployed to the hospital to work with medicine. And it was soon after that, that I started getting emails and phone calls about what an amazing job you were doing. And to say that I was proud is an understatement. You've placed yourself into a historic event and you've made a difference in a way that few people get an opportunity to make a difference. I have tremendous respect for all of you and what you've done. So thank you. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and we'll see you when this all normalizes back in the operating room. Hello, I wanted to express my admiration to you for all of the hard work you're all doing. Uh, no one will ever be able to tell you that they had it harder than you during their training. Please continue to stay safe and keep your family safe. Bye. These unprecedented times have called for unprecedented actions and you all have stepped up in ways in which we will remember forever. You should all be very proud. These are life-changing experiences and you have proven that together we will figure out how to get through this. So thank you for all of you've done. We are generally so appreciative. Thank you doctors, thank you residents, and thank you PAs for helping us through this tough time of Corona. We are very grateful and we very, like, we very are grateful for you guys. Anything Theo? We, we, so this is a huge shout out to all of you for a job really well done. Um, you guys have done the heavy lifting here. You've done all of the hard work. You've stepped up and uh, done everything that's been asked of you. And uh, we're very, very proud and appreciative of all the hard work and effort. Uh, we know this has been outside everyone's wheelhouse and um, we can't say enough about the work and the effort that you guys have put forth. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and dedication. I am looking forward to getting back in the operating room with all of you very soon. History will remember this war. The war was fought by doctors and not by soldiers. I appreciate your fighting hard on the front line and I'm looking forward to working with you all again soon. Thank you. None of you guys have ever worked with me. I'm sure you know that it is so not my thing to make a video of myself. But I did want to tell you how often I've thought of you, how proud I am of you, and how much I've prayed for you. You guys take care, and now I'll let Joan Jett tell you what is my thing. Do it, Joan. <laughs>